A drug made available for COVID-19 patients is creating a shortage for lupus patients who rely on it. The FDA made an emergency authorization for hydroxychloroquine to be used in treating the coronavirus. Now, though, there's not enough to go around. News for Jackson reporter Corley Peel shows us how the shortage is affecting those lupus patients. The lupus patients I spoke with say their hydroxychloroquine medication was either backordered or the pharmacy didn't have enough. They say they rely on this medication to help them cope with lupus, and now they're scrambling to make sure they have enough. Earl Thompson says he's battled with lupus for the past four years. He says hydroxychloroquine is how he copes with the pain. Like if you don't have this, it is excruciating. Um, you, your legs are inflamed, your joints hurt, it hurts to walk, it hurts to sit. Thompson usually gets a 30-day supply of hydroxychloroquine tablets, but he recently learned there was a hold on his prescription. It requires a prior authorization and a quantity limit where previously it's never had a quantity limit and it's never had a prior authorization. Thompson isn't the only lupus patient with this issue. The pharmacist told me we will not have your medicine for you today and she said it could be months before we get it stocked again. President Donald Trump recently announced hydroxychloroquine would be used to treat COVID-19 patients. We looked up the FDA's website, which shows there is a shortage for the drug. Thompson says he was able to get the medication, but not his full prescription. My pharmacy uh, called me to tell me that the only thing that they could send me right now was only 40 tablets. He says 40 tablets will only cover him for 20 days. He's hoping the shortage will be over by the time his prescription needs to be refilled. The FDA says it's working with manufacturers who are ramping up production for the hydroxychloroquine and chloroquine. Reporting Corley Peel, Channel 4, The Local Station.